Hey guys, I'm Digitrails, and what I have behind me is a Skulk sensor device, specifically one that filters signal strengths. So in this case, it only lets through one signal strength, and this device will only ever let through one signal strength. So I currently have it set so that the signal strength of finishing a drink, which if I'm not mistaken is seven, um, will get through and no other seal strings will get through so if I drink this it'll light that up but if I go over here and bring this no light if I open up this door it won't and even after I let myself it won't light up it is super easy to build and as you could see, the pattern was super easy, but a little bit more nuanced than just the comparators. And let me show you how it works. Okay, so let's start with how this works. Basically, there's a powering line and a uh, shutoff line. The powering line starts with the comparator and a comparator feeding into it that basically subtracts the number down. And in here, you have a book that is with 15 pages in it, and you have it turned to one less than the power that your uh, signal strength this is giving off is, essentially. So that it this only ever goes off if this is activated. Then you effectively have a key flip-flop. Um, which essentially just stop. I mean, you could have uh, repeaters here, but I found there was a chance that this would still be powered and it would just be locked in a powered state. So I used a T flip flop to stop the powered state. Um, and then, and that's basically just a dropper, a hopper leading into it and one item in there, a comparator feeding out of that, and then a repeater set to one tick feeding into your line going out. Then you have the shutoff line. The shutoff line is a comparator leading out, going into a block with two comparators set out. Um, both of these ones that the comparators lead into are both in subtract mode, by the way. I forgot to mention that earlier, but these are both in subtract mode. You have this lectern set to the same signal strength that you need your line to be, your sound to be in. So in this case, it's in seven, and that's feeding in. Then you feed into another comparator just to give it a little bit of length, block, comparator. I mean, you could do all comparators here, but it just, it gives you a little bit of, saves you on resources, comparator, and then put it on a block, and then you just put a repeater, and that basically just locks it. So if anything is there, it stops it. It basically just stops the signal for stronger signals. Um, and that way, if anything that is stronger than your current set uh, signal strength, it just stops it from going through. Because if it's, say, like a signal strength of 7, there's still going to be stronger signals that are going to come in. And those would still get through. So you need a signal line that basically stops those stronger signals that go through. So let me just walk you through building this. Now this is very simple. Again, what you do is put down a skulk sensor. You then put down two comparators, put down a block and a block, or not a block there. This one goes into subtract mode. You then want one here, and this one also needs to be in subtract mode. Then I recommend putting two like here. We're then gonna, let's just focus on the powering line for just a second. We then just need the T flip flop. We can then just put a single bot, a single item into here. We then put a comparator and a dropper. Then we'll put a lectern and then you want the book with 15 pages 
in there. If you want, you could have this set with all the different signal strengths in there that um, that you would want so that you could easily remember it, but that is up to you. Now for the powering line, again, you'd also want a lectern with the book. Another comparator, block, comparator, block, and then you would want a redstone repeater. And then you could basically, if you want, you could easily just take this and put out a line if you wanted and do whatever you wanted. You could even hook this up to a door that only opens up whenever you do something or have this have, I don't know, let's just say fireworks do that and then three and two and this one is basically just always one lower than that to remember and if I remember correctly we actually want five and four so basically every time we hit the ground it sends off fireworks there we go. And that's basically how you build it and how you utilize it. And you can basically build this into however, into whatever contraption you need or however you need this to be done. You could build this into doors that only activate when you walk up because you could basically just set this down um, to whichever way you want. If you need this to be a signal strength of one, basically just take this out and put that down to one and then that should just allow it through and then you'll basically be good to go That's the only way that the, that's the only thing in this that isn't automated is for single strengths of one, you would need to take out that comparator. But otherwise, pretty simple and pretty easy, and you're good to go. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you end up using this contraption in some of your uh, redstone contraptions. If you ever do, let me know, and I'd love to hear what you make with it. Anyways. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like it, please go ahead and hit that like button. And remember, when you're in the digital trails, watch out for digital bears. Bye for now.